see crown for my mouth. I see crown for my eyes. I see crown for my front. I see crown for my back. I beg that I make you not clap on the seven days. Because of this massive crowd, we go sing to the Lord Almighty. When the poor life below you are tempted, when you are in taking on his cross, now your baby blesses them, they walk by all. And it with your what the Lord has done. your blesses them, they walk by all. Now your blessings, she was done.
Dr. Mrs. Titi Abubakar, his running mate, the governor of Georgia State, and by the grace of God, the incoming vice president and chairman, National Economic Council, and his dear wife, the chairman of the campaign council, governor Gabriel Udon Emmanuel of Akwaibom State, our brother, the governor of Edo State, the chairman of the board of trustees of our party, Adolphus Wabara, the former vice president, uh, architect Nama Disambo, former president of the Senate, Ukola Saragi, and the host of former governors and national leaders of our party here present. The great people of Delta State, they the talk and before, 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 it don't tell you where they talk and. you i told you right don't expect too much enjoy the show it's pure circus and a charade if you are putting so much on that i actually really feel sorry for some of you who claim and um, publicly i mean publicly claim to be apc and pdp guys honestly right i don't know how you are doing it too eh? i don't know like in what is going on right now eh you are you are you are bold enough to say you are a PDP a thief who be you are a, an APC thief numbu about only courage gone. I mean, I'm just talking to you like a brother to brother, not like brother to brother. About only, only courage gone. Listen, every time people that uh, this system is doing shake it to, every time the thing hit them and shook them, shook them, maybe now hunger or unemployment or something like that. When they when they swear, eh? Ah, uh -huh. you know go better for APCO. Now we're going to kill the PDPO. And anybody where they support APCO, but you are supporting APC. But he said you'll be saying I'll go kill you too. Now only you they suffer. About only mind though. I'm just saying you know. Eh? It has gotten so worse that if you write on social media and say, vote wisely. Don't vote for a sick man. Don't vote for a thief. You that is supporting a thief who are BPDP, you will take offense. They didn't say name. They say vote wisely. Don't vote for. Don't vote for thief. Don't vote for drug baron. Don't. You, they didn't mention name. But you, Baba, only leave a gun. I don't understand how it be. That's why I actually so kind of once in a while I feel sorry for some of you, even though I shouldn't. I do. I just do. Like imagine this somewhere on social media. You open your you open your Facebook. People they call say PC, they call say PC supporter. You, you are just there peacefully. 
and you see all the courses and you're saying god forbid god forbid and i go to a point where by everywhere you turn a course now course i've waiting because you see you are supporting those who have put you in this mess right then you go to a point whereby you are fighting back on social media now your papa go die now your mama told her go kill hey this is not our problem we are the problem papa oh you strong go i'm just saying you know if you want to offend them just go and write it on social media and say don't vote for a thief don't vote for a drug baron. Don't mention names. They go, come. What do you mean? Do you have evidence? Why don't you just go to a court? Say, but I don't mention them now. But why, why are you angry? So sometimes I feel sorry for you, okay? But let's go back to, let's go back to Delta. We're on behalf of the people of Edo State. Hmm? Obaseki just promised a thief coup. 1.5 million votes between Edo and Delta. Papa, I don't know which one is going to be highest, though. But whatever is coming from Delta for a thief coup, Baba a very, very expensive one. Oh. If you are from Delta State and watching me right now, eh? and somehow, somehow you want to participate in this dear charade, eh? and PDP is your choice. Baba, my dollar, eh, people will go for Congress. They come back when they complete their house, uh, house, uh, project, I mean, housing project. Oh. Some came back and they, started, they invest the money in their businesses. Some came back, they bought cars. I have videos. You wait the year, they shout, they pull muscle, they beat chest, they, 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 you know, you go day inside that sun. There's something wrong if they pay you one million naira per vote. You're not supposed to give them anything except they are ready to give you one million. 250 billion of your money is going into this uh, fraud. They will come give you 1,000, give you 2,000. About how wrong now? Ask my friends. About Seki on behalf of Edu and Delta. Listen to this one. Please, can we give them one another round of applause? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite to the microphone the governor that proved that Edo is not Lagos, the second time governor of Edo State, an economist, a financial guru, is now going to speak with us, Governor Obaseki. So they sent me a message from Edo today. So they can tell me and say that PDP I wrote day. When I don't say we go the other side for Edo before. Every day there we see say no road for APC. Now PDP I get road. And PDP they won't give us the next president. And our own Peking, as the vice president, will not feel leave them. So let me say we're not going to win. We're going to win and slide. What I can't tell you now, we say Edo and Delta don't agree. So we must give Atiku and Okawa 1.5 million votes. We agree. We agree. Don't forget to oh, October 25th, all of us, all of us must come out. As we plenty here today, let me vote like that. God bless all of you. PDP! Please, can we give them the Masaki another round of applause? Let our people! Yeah, we
the group of two of Delta State received the presidential candidate of the PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubaka. Mm -hmm. I never finish, oh. I still get some, but where I go share. Oh. You haven't yet to the part, you haven't yet the part of a the student, Niger Delta student, endorsing at Tifku Abi. That's another part. We are not done yet. No, not even close. Are you with me? Let's go back to the Asaba. Say, I know a lot happened in Asaba today. And don't forget this one, the highlight of it, okay? Just a reminder, then we'll go back again. Yeah. Now let's go back to the same play, the same venue, where the Niger Delta student representatives, like uh, the uh, Southwest student representatives, or um, more Delta, see how did they blow Delta money? You, if you are from Delta State, eh, watching me right now, eh? Everything when you see all these spectacle, all these spectacles, right? You can sit by and be like, Omo, how much of my money? If you are from a Kwaibom, if you are from a Do, if you are from a where again, eh? Just think of how much of your money eh, is invested in this this uh, Atifku's uh, business. Abi, the students are not left out. Everybody is cashing out from left, right, and center. Where are you? Eh, even if you are a student from Niger Delta, look at me. Look at look at me straight into my eyes. They don't use you and your name. Go collect their own rubber. Eh from Atifku, and this is what happened. On your behalf, oh. We are saying thank you, Atifku. Thank you, Atifku. We are saying thank you, Atifku. Oh, how did I miss that? Like I said, there are, are so much disconnect. You actually noticed, right? When uh, Obaseki said people should go out on October 25th, October 25th, 2023 and deliver 1.5 million votes to Atifku. I'm sorry I missed that. Okay. It's just so much to take in, right? Let's go back in there. The student oh, on your behalf. We are saying thank you, Atifku. Thank you, Atifku. We are saying thank you, Atifku.
Nigeria, the Southwest, students of the National Association of Nigeria, students, and those you. Today, before you make your pronouncement, it is my pleasure to invite Comrade Kings, Tamara Priye, Comrade Kings, Tamara Priye, please come. Intercepting could not go me. Let me save you the time. However, for some of you who likely want to know, somebody was asking, do you have evidence that Okoa is uh, spending Delta State money? And I said, well, I didn't say that. The people inside that Tif Kuse campaign actually told us. And you've listened to that as well. So if you're looking for any other evidence, I have one. Okay, before we continue, because Atif Kuse himself actually has something to say. So I have one, and this is it. This particular uh, letter is written by Doc Pesci. Doc Pesci is uh, one of the Atifku's uh, co-travelers, okay? He was arrested in London just recently uh, for something uh, we are yet to actually be sure about. I mean, you know. However, this is a letter uh, sent to Okoa by Doc Pesci. Based on that rally you are watching right now on your screen, okay? Your Excellency may wish to find enclosed letter from former members of the President Muhammadu Buhari or Yemi Oshibajo Nationwide Supporters Group who officially wish to decamp en masse from APC to the PDP in Asaba during the Delta State uh, Campaign Rally on Tuesday today, January 24, 2023. We have done due diligence on them and found that uh, they actually have over 7 million registered voters in their fold. They are very strong in the South-South region. I am informed that in order to manage costs, they will come to Asaba with three representatives per state and 20 members of the national executive. I strongly recommend them to your excellency for consideration. Please accept the assurance of my highest esteem regards. Now, this doesn't mean anything, Abi. I mean, I mean, well, it's a letter. It's just saying that some people want to decamp. But, but nothing is cheap in politics. Nothing is free. Doc Pesci didn't just send a letter. He sent a bill that will bring people, executive of a 7 million uh, 
Obasan, I mean, sorry, Buari and Oshibajo supporters in uh, in the Niger Delta are scam. That's how they run it, okay? Since they have been contesting election, or since uh, Bokwari has been contesting election in Nigeria, are you with me? Since uh, APC don't they start participate in election in Nigeria, they have never scored up to five hundred thousand votes in, in in the entire in the entire Niger Delta region. Go and check it. They've never they've never scored up to five hundred thousand votes. However, eh. Someone is now proposing that uh, this same Oshiba Jubuari, they have 7 million registered voters and it will cost money to get them. To make up the team for all of them to assemble in Asaba, the crowd you are seeing in Asaba right now, you saw in Asaba there, right? They paid some of them. This is an evidence. He didn't just send a letter. He sent a bill. And look at that. That is what is attached with uh, Doc Pesci's uh, letter. For these people, 111 persons, eh, uh, 20 days, I don't want to quote all of that. Anyway, everything shall go be 31.2 million. Just like that. Chicken change from the 200 billion or 250 billion that uh, they have already taken on behalf of uh, the Delta people. I just thought I should mention that. Do you mind? Let's go back to, I mean, Atifku did say something. You know that. And I won't leave this uh, conversation tonight without actually sharing that with you. The lies. And then, uh, despite all that uh, are going on, they don't give a damn. See how cool, calm, I mean, how cool calm he is. It is Nigeria, my brother. But listen to what you had to tell them right there in the same uh, Delta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are not in Delta State to campaign. We are in Delta State to show our gratitude, to show our appreciation, and also to say that we are with you in all respects. One because of the support we have received and have received all along, particularly myself, in all, all my political career from 1999 till date, Delta State has never failed me. Yeah. And I want to promise you that I shall not, I shall not. I shall not betray the trust of Delta State and in fact the Niger Delta supplied team all together. That is why it's my modest contribution to your support over the years. I decided to take one of you as my running mate. As you know, a running mate is always a stepping stone. Therefore, it is up to you to give Governor Okowa the massive support that he needs to show the people of this country that you are committed to your own future. I want, therefore, to assure you, you must have read my five-point agenda. One of those agenda is education. I want to commend this young man who on behalf of all the students in Niger Delta have today endorsed our candidature. And in my policy document, as far as education is concerned and the responsibility of the federal government is concerned, I said, there shall be no more arson strike. One of the items that is of benefit to you is also the issue of resource control or the issue of restructuring. It is one of the five items in my five-point program. You, as Niger Delta, shall benefit from 
that policy because it is our intention to devote more powers and more resources to your respective states so that they can deal with their problems instantly instead of you to wait for the federal government to do so. One of the issues also mentioned in my fact program is the issue of unity. This APC government has disunited Nigeria, North South, has disunited Nigeria, Christian Muslims, has disunited Nigeria in all respects. It is our commitment to restore the unity of this country. How do we do it? How do we achieve it? We will make sure that every part of this country Every religion of this country has a sense of belonging in the federal government. That one I promise you. What else did I promise? I said the security of this country is paramount. You cannot develop education. You cannot develop the economy. You cannot live in peace without security. It is our responsibility and our commitment to make sure we secure this country safe for everybody, wherever you may live. You must believe in PDP. Do you know why? Delta State has been PDP since 1999. And I have come to this place in 1998, 94, all these years. Have you seen the kind of progress that has been achieved in Delta State? Is that not PDP? Why would you go for another party for God's sake? Why? You have no reason to do so. Are you going to continue to support PDP? Are you going to continue to support PDP? Now, the last issue is the economy. I promise in my five-point agenda to make sure that the economy has a commanding height. Once you improve all those things I'm saying, you will see foreign investment trooping in. Just like when the PDP was in power, we had the biggest economic growth until we became the biggest economy in Africa. Is that not so? We had no problem about foreign exchange. We had no problem about scarcity of goods. We have no problem about uh, high inflation. We have no problem about prices of goods and services. For God's sake, why would you go to another party that has now suffered us in the last seven to eight years? Please say no to APC. No to APC. No. APC down. APC down. down. Down, 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 down. BDB all. Oh. BDB all. Oh. BDB victory. BDB all. Oh. Oh. God bless you, the people of Delta State. I love you all. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you very much. National. That's a chief coup. Is a a a, a serial con I mean a serial contestant, and he has a way of uh, uh, you know uh, playing. The, he's been in the game for a while. Who promised the people of uh, southern Nigeria restructuring? 
It will promise the people of uh, Southwest Nigeria restructuring, promise the people of uh, the Eastern Nigeria, eh? promise them to be that they will be the next uh, president, promise the people of uh, Niger Delta that uh, they are going to be the next president, and then go back to the north and tell them, remember me, Fulani man, you need a very strong one to undo these noisemakers from southern Nigeria. And if you are looking for any, I am the perfect uh, fit. Uh, and all that. So that's a tiff coup. Uh, something comes to my mind, uh, even though I want to uh, sort of uh, take calls, but I won't be taking calls uh, tonight, okay? I'm just going to round, round it up and then uh, uh, call it tonight at a point. However, if you have uh, spent your evening with me uh, this long, right, especially on YouTube, uh, and then uh, you are still here, and you haven't really, really subscribed to my channel, do it you know doesn't cost you anything does it just your time then uh, drop your offering your offering is for you to like uh, that broadcast if you have actually been like people have said that uh, ordinarily i shouldn't even be asking you i do understand that uh, listening to a broadcast that is like uh, over two hours sometimes at uh, three hours right you can be so sucked into it it's so interesting isn't it yeah if you're a regular you, you can understand what I'm saying, but I do like to remind you to show that you are here and for me to actually believe that uh, you probably love this. Eh? You enjoyed it. Eh? Then at least drop your, uh, that your offering, like the broadcast, share it. doesn't cost anything, does it? Let's go back again. So there is uh, this update. However, uh, it's just going to be like a touching base and on everything, okay? So I think you should know, and it is coming from uh, the Central Bank of uh, Nigeria, coming, uh, I mean, sorry, on your monetary world of view. Two things, right? At the end of, uh, by the end of January, if you have any old note of the Naira, if you have any old Naira notes in your cover, go and break that colo. Go and tell your kids to break all that colo where you have the old Naira note. All you have to do is go and deposit your Naira or else, it's, not, it's never going to be uh, taken from you again after the 31st of January. And that it is said by Mayfield in his own press conference. Maybe you should listen. If you haven't seen this before, if you haven't heard about it, today is 24th. You've got just about seven days. And you that don't do you shake enough. Oh, do not keep your money for us. We'll be saying, no, go can get value. The value arm, useless arm. You might have to do something. Listen. He says, reports suggest that many people want the deadline to be shifted for reasons ranging from the inability to gain access to the new notes or deposit their old currencies. I must say here that unfortunately I don't have good news for those who feel that we should shift the deadline. My apologies. The reason is because just like the president had said on more than two occasions, and even to people privately, that for us, 90 days, in fact, we feel it's 100 days is enough for anybody who has, deposit, who has money or the old currency to deposit it, the money in the banks. And we took every measure to ensure that all the banks were open or remain still open to receive all old, all old currencies. 100 days, we believe, is more than adequate. We called on the banks. We said, not only are we requesting you to extend your banking hours so that you can receive old currencies, but we're also asking you to keep your doors open on Saturdays. Ladies and gentlemen, the banks did not have any reason to even keep their banking halls open on Saturdays. Neither way did they see the kind of rush that they anticipated. Well, there were normal people who came in to deposit money into the banks. And maybe in the course of time, I'll also give you details about how much had been had come. There's been stories that uh, the banks are not giving you the new notes. That's a different case, okay? If you have any of the old Naira notes, don't lose them, okay? Don't lose them and... Uh, just go to your bank and deposit them. You can take them out later after the 31st. So if the bank now gives you the old note at, I mean, on, at their own counter uh, after the 31st, then you can fight. I'm just saying it's a very valuable information. Another one that is very sad, okay? 
but we can't just uh, leave this conversation tonight without touching it. And that has to do with the report, uh, which uh, is about uh, those who have become the victims. Now, in 2022, uh, there's been uh, there's a record of a 145 Nigerian Catholic priests killed by terrorists in Nigeria. 30 others kidnapped in several attacks in 2022. So if you see uh, an average uh, Christians in Nigeria, I mean, an average Christian in Nigeria, especially, especially those who have been the victims of this uh, religious uh, violence, terrorism, up north, it will tell you, if you see, what, if you see them uh, so much uh, uh, in uh, opposition and somehow kind of look paranoid or experimenting a level of a paranoia, because of this Muslim Muslim ticket, Osama bin Laden, I mean Osama bin Laden, and then uh, uh, Pablo Escobar. So you that has you haven't really suffered anything, so to say, that is that much uh, gory and then uh, very violent. Then you won't understand. They've done them so much uh, dirty, especially in 2022. They lost. I mean, 142 is not just a number. We're talking about human beings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and if they start counting, these are human beings. These were human beings killed by the violence of a terrorism. And the terrorist, none of them is arrested or facing any prosecution as we speak. So if they are paranoid about uh, this uh, APC, Ebekekbe Muslim Muslim ticket, right? Please don't, don't, don't try to gaslight them. Don't tell them they are overreacting. Are you mad in Show mad in Eh? Another part of it is that uh, that's going to make me ask if you are actually a mad person. Is this? Somebody said that, um, you need to be fair to everybody if you are reporting. I show, show shirini. Look around you. Okay? This is what it was and this is what it is now. Yeah? And the one that is actually annoying is that part, the last part. I mean, so the second to the last part. Eh? Insecurity, then depth profile. The one that actually end up having to like... Uh, Papa show mad in it to ban bere fear equity and the joy fairness in talking about APC. I just thought I should let you know they've done enough. And then uh, whatever you do with this information is up to you. I won't leave this uh, uh, conversation tonight uh, without uh, saying a big thank you to all of the people who have responded to our back to school support uh, program, right? Let me tell you something. You remember that we intend to actually raise. Uh, at least uh, 10 million era in order for us to be able to fund a project that will actually afford us uh, the uh, possibility uh, to print at least eh, 50,000 uh, exercise books by the Yoruba Union uh, organization, right? Now, we started that uh, sometimes uh, in January. And today, I can tell you boldly that the good news here is that uh, we are not just uh, going to be catering for 6,000 uh, school children in Yoruba land. We are actually going to be catering for 10,000 school children. That's exactly what our resources will cover. I mean, cover. What does that tell you? In the next uh, few days, you're going to be seeing some images, videos, visuals, most important, I mean, mostly. And it's going to be showing you the happy, elated, eh, younger children in Yoruba land that are going to be receiving our gracious uh, goodwill, just like uh, those who are their own uh, grandmothers, grandfathers benefited last month. 10,000 school children who benefit from our 50,000 uh, uh, exercise books that we call the Back to School Project, okay? Now, I want to say thank you, and I continue to say thank you. Be grateful to all of you, the Templars, the Temple of Truth uh, brethren who have always been like uh, turning up then, most importantly, all of you have actually turned from a, being a Templar to becoming a Unionist. The Yoruba Unionists who put this together in a space of a, just about three days or four days fundraiser, we have managed to get ourselves above uh, almost, uh, I'm sorry, above 8 million naira, which we then uh, actually pay for all we need, except uh, the logistics. So before the day is completely closed or before the open is completely closed, I am going to be uh, inviting, I'm inviting all of you watching me right now to the second uh, to the last uh, fundraiser on this project until it's done i'm speaking to those who are like uh, the unionist here it's not the message for everyone except those of you who are like uh, the unionist or the friends of the yorubas you're welcome okay that's what we're gonna do any moment from now that's gonna be tomorrow this message is for all the unionists who put this together we are about to go out and carry out uh, this exercise. 
a lot of people are going to be so, 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 so attracted to this. It's one of the best and the best uh, uh, move that uh, we have actually taken in, in any recent time, right? So we're doing this, not because we are expecting anything personal from the people who are going to be the beneficiaries, but we love doing it. I love it. Yeah? So tomorrow in the evening, there won't be much of uh, the program. So to say, it is going to be a fundraiser to finalize this project, right? And mobilize the entire team that will be going about 100 schools in Yoruba land, 100 schools, 10,000 school children will benefit from this. I can't wait. So we need to make it happen as we have done that so far. So thank you so much for your time. I'm going to see you some other time, okay? Good night uh, from here.